Hi guys, my name is Kitsy and I'm just going to give a brief tutorial on how to integrate the Rev Mob SDK into Buzz Touch. Uh, I've only tried this with version 2, but I'm pretty sure that by the looks of the other code that it should work well with the others. Uh, I've made a simple tutorial app. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through this. I've already preloaded this up so it shouldn't take too long to do. And as you'll see, it's quite neat and tidy. And we've got a couple of the yellow errors from some of the syntax errors. But as a whole, it looks okay. We'll just run it in the simulator to show what it looks like before we integrate the mob. Integrate the mob. Sorry, I'll use that shortly. Application not responding. Isn't that just beautiful? So we'll try and... There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the test application running there. All good. The quiz will go through. We're all happy days. That's pretty much what the blank one looks like. Really, really simple to integrate the SDK into this. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to drag the rev mob. So apologies. We're going to drag the framework. I've downloaded this from the rev mob's website. There's nothing complicated about that. And also, due to the iOS 6 and all the wonderful things that come through it, We've now got store kit integration. This looks really good. Uh, instead of the application leaving to open the downloads, we've now got the ability to be able to open it in the app as well. So we're going to add the store kit SD the framework. Okay, and as we can see, that's been added there. We couldn't can't get any simpler. All we're going to be doing is amending one file. So if we go into our BT config and our tutorials app delegates. We're just adding the framework kits to it. So if we go control, we've got import. Rev mobs app. Don't oh, you love Xcode the way it saves your time typing? And also we're integrating the store kit as well. Let's see if I can remember the name of it. Yeah. So I'm going to the store kit app as well. Okay, that's the first thing we need to do. Hunky dory there. Okay, I've done a little cheat sheet here. Two lines of code we need to insert now. So straight after the bool application, which is here, we're going to insert this code, and I'll include this on the download as well. The number we're looking at here is your app ID. Now you'll find this when you register your app onto RevMobs. It just gives you a simple thing. You'll see that where all your money comes from as well. Okay, the next bit of line is we're putting down when app becomes active. Now the reason why we're doing this is when the app loads, then that banner ad will come up straight away. So it'll show you the full screen app. And it'll go through. I can never find these things. So show. Da -da -da. Oops, wrong one to do. When app becomes active. Okay, so we've got this line. So just below this, now we're going to put the rev mobs in it. So we've got two lines of code. We've got rev mobs show full screen ad and rev mobs show banner. So we just insert this just below the BT debugger. And that's it, the code's integrated. So when we run the application again, this will appear hold on a second and we're done and there we go there's the free app for the day and if we look on the bottom there's this as well so that's pretty much it easy peasy putting the pie and there's your first integration. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll do better on my next one. Good night.